Ever wonder how to best raise your colonist skill? I time every way of training each of them, and I'm gonna go over the fastest and most efficient ways to do it. I learned a lot while researching for this video. Did you know that smithing weapons and armor is the worst way to train it? Or that the fastest skill to train is one you're probably not touching? XP in this game can be multiplied by a passion for a skill. Each star gives you another 150% experience. When I mention XP in this video, I'm talking about the base number, with no passions or other multipliers. When I refer to second, it's real time at one time speed with the minimum skill needed. When I refer to caps, except for regarding tailoring, I'm talking about the soft limit that almost every skill has. After getting 1600 experience in a day, all further gains are reduced by 90%. Your goal when organizing training is to try and hit this soft cap every single day on every colonist you want to train. For botany, harvesting gives much faster experience than planting, and both are leagues better than chopping trees. Seriously, I started that timer early and I'm literally just making this joke up to buy time for that tree to finish anyways. Harvesting always gives 50 experience, but the time it takes varies between plants. Mushrooms are the fastest at about 4 seconds, so focus on them, grass, crops, and red berries in that order. Trees take 22 seconds to chop down, so don't use them for training. Planting something always gives 30 experience, regardless of if it's a crop, which takes 9 seconds, or a sapling that takes 26. For harvesting, a skill of 20 speeds it up by about 35%. For planting, that skill of 20 gives a 50% buff. Carpentry might have 8 items you can make, but for training, there's really no competition. You only want to be making short bows. Other items give the same experience per second, or less, but take up more wood. Dismantling any wooden item gives 60 experience in 26 seconds. That's slower than making short bows, but it does mean that you're getting resources back. For both this, and for all future production skills, these numbers were gotten while the production building was inside, but not in a workshop or the relevant production room. Construction is different than these production skills, and honestly, it should probably just be named window making. Instead of getting a set amount of experience for finishing a product, you get 8 experience per second spent regardless of what you're building, or 9 after construction skill 1. That's because skill increases both your build speed and the experience you get per second by a small amount. The goal for training construction, then, is to maximize the time spent per resource used. Production buildings are pretty bad for this, as they build quickly compared to how many resources they take. Brick and raw limestone take a lot longer than wood, while clay is a little bit quicker. But because you're going to easily cap your experience in a day, finish any construction you actually want, then queue up either wood or limestone windows, as these take the longest per resource spent. Deconstructing gives 60% of the resources back, but does not give any experience. Cooking is very straightforward, since your options are limited at most levels. At zero, make basic meals instead of brewing. At 10, smoke any meat you have and cook with this smoked meat plus any vegetables. Pickling vegetables isn't worth it unless you have hearths and preservatives out the wazoo. You should also switch to making packaged meals at level 10. They're slower in terms of experience rates, but you get a lot more experience per unit of food used. Lavish meals later on are the best of both worlds, but they require valuable herbs, so you might not be able to spam these out. Intellectual is also fairly straightforward, as there are only three choices and it doesn't really matter which one you make. And while a thesis has a 10% slower rate, that difference is pretty marginal and your researchers are going to be capping their experience regardless. Marksman is also very simple. Regardless of the weapon, target, skill, or damage done, failing to do damage gives 20 experience, and a hit gives 55 experience. To train it, you thus want to equip your archers with the worst short bows they have, throw some decent armor on there, and decide how fine you are with violence. Hits do give more experience, so you could park archers right beside each other, but they'd have to go heal every few shots. Instead, put a horde of archers at their maximum range, put them behind Merlons, and have them fire at each other. On an unrelated note, medicine is up next. This skill is very hard to train. Breeding a wound only gives 20 experience. Most experience is going to come from making healing kits, but these all give the same experience per second, and it's not very high. The alcohol needed for advanced healing kits can be hard to make in sufficient quantity to spam these out, so I'd recommend looking to make regular healing kits for training. On the other hand, melee is the easiest skill to train. Settlers get 30 experience for a miss and 100 for a hit, regardless of the weapon they're using, and that includes not using a weapon at all. Having two colonists fistfight each other will quickly cap out their experience in an hour or two with no risk to the colonists. Mining is also super straightforward. Every block gives 50 experience. Clay and rocky soil are the fastest to mine, coal sits in the middle, and everything else takes 25 seconds. Focus on that clay and rocky soil early on until your skill is about 13 or 15. At that point, it's high enough for your miners to cap out mining limestone or dirt instead. 
There are a lot of choices for smithing, but material doesn't matter and the answer is fairly straightforward. The fastest rates come from making mechanical components, although these require a skill of 20 to actually make. Next up is dismantling metal items that you get. Then it's smelting ingots. Lastly, and I really do not recommend using this to train, you can make weapons and armor. However, these offer the slowest experience rates in the game. At the time of recording, animal handling only has two ways to train it, although a big update to husbandry is coming in a patch in a few weeks. For now, hunting deer with your worst shortbow is the fastest way to get experience. Each hit gives 90 experience regardless of how much damage it does, while a miss gives one, melee hits give none. This experience is gotten regardless of whether your colonist is specifically hunting, or if they've been drafted and you told them to attack the deer. Although you can make honey at a bee skep and get 250 experience after completion, this takes a few hours of labor and it's generally pretty slow unless deer are very far off. Trading is the only way to train speechcraft right now, and you want to be trading for as much value as you can. You get about 4.5 experience per value given, and 1.25 per value received, although there is a floor of 20 experience for low value trades. This means you could spam these out, although this takes a lot of actual time. So if you're like me and you don't want to do this, just arrange one gigantic trade. Though this would normally hit the experience cap, that reduction is only applied to future gains after you reach the cap, and so none of the experience from one large trade is actually reduced. The last skill, tailoring, has some unique quirks that confused me for so long when I was timing this all out. Although other production skills don't care about the resource used, tailoring does. Linen and wool are about 10% faster for caps and summer clothes, but everything is equal for winter clothes. Having said that, it's all less efficient than dismantling objects, which also gives you resources back, so you should focus on that. When you don't have any, focus on making caps. If you don't have the textiles to spam these, focus on making straw hats. But choosing the right item to make is actually the last step in efficiently training a skill. If you want to optimize both your base layout and your villager's task efficiency, I've got a couple videos on the topic you will not want to miss. I'm also curious what skills surprised you the most. Leave your answer down in the comment section below.